Well, hello and welcome to my shop. My name is George and I'm coming to you from Chelsea, Quebec. Uh, I'm working on a tool stand. It's going to be for one of those uh, spindle sanders. And it's uh, not very tall because some of the height is going to be eaten up by the spindle sander itself. And I've arrived at the point where I need to add uh, some feet. So I'd like it to be a couple of inches uh, taller. And I'd also like to add some retractable wheels. And uh, then in thinking about it, there's really two styles that you tend to see over and over again. Uh, one is to have uh, locking casters. So the tool stand is always on the casters. And when you want to uh, make it more stable, uh, you'll lock them down by engaging some brakes. The other style that you tend to see is to have uh, feet that the tool stand rests on when you want to work with it and then when you want to move it you'll bring down some retractable wheels when you bring them down they sit a little bit deeper than the feet that raises the tool and you can move it around when I got to this point I was, wor I was working out in my head how did I want to arrange the retractable wheels and the feet and then it hit me that in this case it makes more sense to have feet that are retractable and have the wheels in place. So let's see how that goes. Okay, here's the stand. Uh, I've turned it upside down and I went ahead and mounted the uh, casters. I didn't bother uh, filming that because I'm thinking, okay, if you're interested in this topic, then you've probably mounted a few casters uh, in your past uh, on, on your own. Uh, now, you'll notice that the casters are somewhat inbound. Uh, generally a bad idea, because the more inbound they are, the more tippy the thing is going to be. Uh, but I wanted to not worry about that. Uh, when I'm moving the thing around, it'll be okay if it's a little bit tippy. When I'm actually using it, I want it to be as stable as possible. So I've mounted the casters inbound somewhat in order to make room for the cleats that will serve as feet. Um, so they're mounted inbound so that they clear the cleats when the cleats are in their uh, position, in their uh, working position. Uh, so the idea here now is to put a couple of hinges here and here so that the cleats can fold away when it's time to move this thing and when it's time to use it, they can be brought back into this position. All right, the stand is now upright again. It's resting on the uh, cleats, so the wheels, the casters, are back here, they're out of sight. I've uh, clamped into place the hinges that are going to be used to mount the cleats. And now I'll bore some holes for the screws. Okay, so I'm going to drive some screws in. Uh, now the hinges really don't need to do a lot of work. When I'm using the stand, uh, it'll be resting on the cleats and the cleats are in contact with the rest of the, of the stand. So the hinges aren't really doing very much. The only time the hinges come into play is when the cleats are uh, up and out of the way and so all they really have to do is support the weights, the weight of the of the cleat. Um, so there's really not going to be that much strain or stress on the hinges. Uh, I'm using number six by half inch uh, screws, and that'll be plenty enough. That'll be like more than than what's needed.
So uh, a couple of finishing touches because uh, I don't want to bend down in order to uh, operate this thing. Uh, I've got a rope here that I can use to uh, yank the thing up and I've rounded over the uh, edges uh, just in the middle here so that I can lift it. Um, so if I want to uh, engage the wheels, uh, I lift it up a little bit and then pull this thing out of the way. Do the same thing on the other side. And now it's on the wheels, ready to roll. Uh, to get it back into a stable position, kick the uh, cleats back down. And we're good. Uh, if I find that this height isn't uh, enough, I can add a couple of real feet to the cleats uh, and get it up a little higher. Thank you for sticking it through to, till here. Hang on then. Okay. Thank you for sticking it through till here. And uh, if you can find some time to engage in your passion, do it. And if you can share it, even better. Bye for me for now.